Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to Andrea's channel, Andrea's Attic. Um, today is a colouring chat day, so we're going to be colouring in Chibi Christmas Grayscale Colouring Book by Jade Summer. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, this video is for adults and the content is not for children or made for children in any way, shape or form. We do talk about adult things. So we're going to colour in this lovely little girl, home in up her Christmas stocking and she's going to hang it up for Christmas and hopefully Santa is going to bring her some nice presents. He's uh, going to hang it upon her um, upon her mantelpiece, above her fire, which is very nice. I hope he doesn't put any chocolate in it because it will melt. So let's uh, get something between the pages. I keep a stack of paper here for that. I tend to leave it in books and I've got some in books I need to take out so, so just pop this in here there we go there we go so I like this it's a nice easy colour in I love these books just to colour in the um, use markers on them I, I will try pencils at some point because there's a lot of snow ones in here so Quite nice to see how that works. So I'm gonna just uh, do her face first, as I always do. All right, how are we all? Um, are you all uh, fine? And how are you ready for Christmas? You know, what's it like where you're you are in the world? How is uh, things panning out? What with you know everything that's going on, and is it all working out? Are you all safe? But please, please stay safe. That's the main thing. So I mean, you hear. I mean, I'm watching YouTube videos of some people and they go on about their daily lives and it's like things are normal, even though there is social distancing and there is um, mask wearing, which is good. But I mean, I don't I don't really go out very much because I'm just trying to keep myself safe. My, my father is, is 80 on Christmas Eve, so I'm, I'm obviously not going to put him at risk by going anywhere. I haven't been into Newport Town Centre since March. Um, I have been to Cardiff, but only to go to visit Paul's mum when she was still living there or to go to the auction house to pick stuff up. The only other places I've been, I went to Watt to get some supplies with my dad the other day. Needed a few bits and pieces for the house. And the supermarkets, uh, mainly to just get main food. Um, been to the doctors to have my flu jab, but again that was very, very well. I'm done very, very, very carefully planned out. But uh, yeah, and it appears now that there's a mutated strain down in the southeast of England. Now they seem to think that the vaccine's still going to work on it. Uh, it's a bit worrying, but we'll have to see what happens. I mean, I haven't had my hair cut since February, and I used to have it done every six weeks. And it's not because I don't want it done, it's because I usually have it cut and coloured. And I just don't think I could sit there for three hours with a mask on. So what I think I'll wait to do is, is wait until after Christmas. It looks like we will have another lockdown in Wales. Because uh, it's, we've got the highest rates in the country at the moment in, in the UK. And then once that's eased off and they're allowed to reopen, if my salon is still in business, I hope that God it is. It's been there for years, that's when I go to all the time. I will go and have my hair cut. I'm not going to have it coloured. I'm just going to let it grow out, I think. Just have it trimmed. Uh, and it doesn't mean to, I'll say to them it's not that I'm not going to have it coloured ever again it's just I don't want to sit here for three hours in a mask it's too long I, I don't know I couldn't cope with that I mean I was struggling to breathe on on Saturday, Sunday but that's because Jennifer was playing up and I was getting a bit stressed basically <laughs> she's, she can make you very stressed sometimes when she's in a, a naughty mood She's not normally naughty, she's a really good girl actually, so to be fair. So we've got our Christmas tree up. I don't put a lot of decorations up. Um we got a tree and a few stand uh, you know, we got a couple of things on the mantelpiece and something on the, the windowsill. I don't really put a lot up. Not because I don't like it, it's just I just can't be bothered. That and doing it all is, it's, it's just, so taking it all down again, it's a pain. Bad enough just doing the, 
tree. But uh, yeah, it looks nice. Jennifer walked in and she went, wow! Uh, she loved it. It was so nice to hear her. I didn't have the camera on me so I couldn't film it. I wanted to and I forgot to take my camera out with me when I went out to pick her up. And so when she came in she went, wow! And I, I couldn't get yeah, it. It's a shame. But the main thing is she liked it. She's happy. And we put her, her Santa light on and uh, her... Uh, light up snow globe that blows the snow around <laughs> all that sort of good stuff which uh, will be in the weekly vlog obviously so yeah, my skin's a bit patchy I'll probably go back over that another time but let's just do her little hands here I thought there's been a lot of deaths recently of famous people um, Dame Barbara Windsor died last week who was obviously well known for playing Peggy uh, Mitchell in EastEnders and of course prior to that she did a lot of theatre work when she was first starting out she was in the Carry On films, very good friends with Kenneth Williams who I'm a big fan of um, and all that good stuff and yes yeah, sadly she died, she was 83 and she had Alzheimer's which is horrendous for the poor girl you know she's been a lot of them and author John le Carre died um, was announced today which is Monday for me but it's Tuesday for you but it was announced on Monday spy author spy novelist has gone another one there's gonna be nobody left soon well not anybody any good anyway all the good ones are dying Back all the modern rubbish um, <laughs> we'll use I think we use saffron yellow for her hair. One thing I like about um, doing this is I could just put this one colour on and it'll look nice, hopefully. I don't have to put any more on. Yeah, you still start thinking who's going to be next because I am looking forward to Christmas programming I, well some of it I mean I'll watch Doctor Who because I always do that I think that's on New Year's Day whoops it's very yellow isn't it, it look, looks very very yellow on camera it doesn't look as yellow on on the page so it looks quite nice on the page but um, yeah so I watched the Christmas Doctor Who which was filmed at partially uh, well it was filmed in Bristol because they've got Daleks coming across the, the Clifton Suspension my bridge Clifton Suspension Bridge my bridge I call it my bridge um, so I'm looking forward to seeing that that's the main reason I'm looking forward to seeing it really I'm not gonna lie and then of course there's uh, Called the midwife, that's always good. I like that. I love Call the Midwife. Um, don't know what else is on, they'll be the usual films. <laughs> I'll probably watch some of them. I hope Polar Express is on. I love the Polar Express. I remember the first time I saw that, I was like, oh, this is amazing. I just loved it. Still need to watch some more classic movies, though. I just don't watch enough. I love watching movies. I just don't watch enough. I really want to see the new Wonder Woman, but I really wanted to see it in the cinema. Because, obviously, I like, I like doing that. Otherwise, I should just wait and get it on the Blu-ray when it comes out. Soon I will start my normal Christmas watching thing, which will be, of course, um, Meet Me in St. Louis, fail, followed by It's a Wonderful Life. I'll probably watch those next week, so I'm only working two days next week, so hopefully there'll be a lot of time for colouring. 
because Jennifer's still in nursery. She's in nursery right up till one o'clock on um, Christmas Eve. So me and Paul have got Christmas Eve, the 23rd and 24th off. So we're going to spend that time uh, wrapping up her presents. I'm going to try and start doing pulls. Probably the next day or so. Um, my mum and dad, if they ever bloody come. Well, I've ordered a calendar from my mum and it hasn't come yet. It was out of stock on um, Amazon, so I went and ordered it from Calendar Club. Check my email to see if there's any update. If it don't come, I'll get someone else to shuffle after Christmas. So annoying. But of course, a lot of people are buying online, so they they are very very busy. Um, if they'd have had the one I wanted in stock on Amazon, I would have got it from there. I always get her a rough collie calendar, but they're all out of stock. So I went up to Calendar Club and ordered it from there. They were in stock paid for it and everything so and uh yeah well there you go so I've got stuff for Paul coming tomorrow as well I mean it's, it's we still got a bit of time yet it, it feels like it's really close but it's it's another week to go in a bit so I'm just getting a bit worried about this calendar not coming We'll have to see. I can find her something else. So Jade Summer has got, change the subject, a Colour by Numbers Christmas book out. I have ordered it, but I think it's coming Wednesday. So I'll be uh, cracking on doing one or two in that one, because I love the Colour by Numbers. Jade Summer ones. I do actually quite like them. You know, they are nice and simple. And they tend to be patterns rather than pictures. I think I like colour by them for patterns better than I like um, proper pictures. So I will definitely... You can't see what I'm doing. I do apologise. I'm so sorry. So I will... I've got that on order. I like that. I said Paul's dad will be giving us, he usually gives us money for Christmas. He sends a present for Jennifer, which is nice of him, which has arrived. Um, and he gives us money, which is fine. And I'll either get calorie and supplies or a record or something I haven't decided yet. So, I'll have to have to decide what I want. Last year I saved it for ages because I was going to put it um, towards the record fair, but of course the record fair was cancelled. And I doubt it'll be going on next year because the location is being refurbished and won't be what it was. Unless they go somewhere else, they might go to the Newport Centre, which would be great if they did. It's always been at the indoor market, but hopefully they might go to the, either the Riverside or... The um, Newport Centre. I hope they do find another location for it because it was, it's always been really good. And I've always got a few bits from there when we started going. It used to be that it was always in the week at Christmas so we couldn't go and then they changed it to a Saturday which was much better. So we started going to every single one, they were like three years. We were jinxed last this year because the, the well, we had to take Jennifer to the hospital because she she hurt her finger on one of her toys and it got infected, so we had to go and take her to the hospital. So that was fun, and uh, so that was on that day. We were about to go there. And we thought we were better take her to the hospital, so we spent the day in uh, Astrid and Munich instead. And then the next two were cancelled because of of the, the pandemic the one before that we didn't get to go to which was the October one because Paul broke his ankle 
so we've been pretty jinxed on the record fairs so sadly but uh, yeah we can't help what happens happens it is what it is and we just have to to kind of deal with it really so Who knows when it's all going to get back to normal, eh? Because I haven't got a clue. I mean, part of me wants things to get back to some kind of normality so we can go out and go to the theatre and to gigs. But I'm going to have to turn it over. I do apologise. Just because to get into the crack here, being left-handed is a bit of a problem. Which is why I would never want them to be spiral bound because that would be an absolute nightmare for me. It's hard enough as it is. If they're necessary, spiral bound at the top. Which would work for some books, like the colour it books are like that, and they're, they're really nice. I love those, they're good for colouring in. I'm just going to get into this bit here while I can. And then I'll turn it back the right way when I've got it all done. There we go, turn it back around. I'll finish off colouring her hair. <laughs> Yeah, it's gone really quick even though it seems to have taken forever. Does that make any sense because of the way things have been? It's still gone really quick. It's just been a really odd year. I don't think there's ever been a year like it. I don't think there ever will be again. And next year hopefully will be better, but obviously there's no guarantees. We don't know what's going to happen at the moment as to whether or not oh, I just don't know anymore I mean one of our managers have worked have estimated we'll be out of the office for the whole of the year next year I'm not complaining I like it I'm quite happy um, with it it works well for me I know my direct manager she likes it as well it's better for her I think those of us who've got kids it's better for because we don't have to rush to drop them off and pick them up um, some people thrive in an office environment, some people hate it. I personally, I like being there with my f colleagues because they're all brilliant, um, but it does get very noisy, obviously, and I find it very hard to concentrate. So I prefer it to be at, at home working because I, I, can, I can literally just concentrate on what I need to do and I don't have anything else to worry about. I'll do a stocking now. I'm going to do a nice red colour. It's quite a dark red, but. So I got these uh, markers last. Well, I ordered them New Year's Eve. So I ordered them almost a year ago. And I've probably had them. I don't know. 
10, 11 months and they, I've used them quite a bit. They last, they have lasted very well, I'll admit. I would definitely buy them again. I think they're my favourite brand of markers at the moment. We all know how I feel about glitter gel pads, so we won't go into those, so. But I will talk about things like that in my review of the year. My review of the year is not just going to be colouring related, it's going to be um, a complete review of the year. So there'll be what we've got up to, um, famous people who've died, what sort of films I've watched, what TV programmes I've watched. There will be colouring stuff, like how many colouring books I bought, how many pages I've coloured. I might show you some of my favourites. I'll start getting that ready soon. It's not so much filming it, because I won't film that until... Probably film it New Year's Eve and put it up New Year's Day. Um, but I need to have all the, the facts, figures and some pictures to show you. I don't think I'm going to show you every single one. It would take me too long and it would take me forever to find them all. Next year, I'm going to start the year in review from day one. Um, As I said, I'm going to try not to buy very many books next year. I'm in fact going to try and bash my stash. Because I've got so many. I'm going to try and get through some of them and just... Just try and... I'm not worried about finishing a book. I know some people want to finish books in 2021. I just want to try and colour a page in every single book I've got. That's my aim. I mean, I'm... I've got a few whips that I haven't even touched this month. And I, that's my own fault. And I do need to get back to, to whipping those whips. Um, And that be, should be what I'm doing on non-filming days, really. Tomorrow might be a, officially a non-filming day, but I might start filming a bit of the, I still haven't done it, the Arteza watercolours. And I've still, I haven't used them. They're still sitting here in their box, unused. Um, I'll do the prep work at some point. I might do that tomorrow night and then start filming it the next time I do a bit of filming. And the prep work for that will be... Um, writing the numbers and the, the colour names down in the, the swatch book before we swatch it. So, If they're anything like the RT's pencils, I'm going to like them. I'm using them at the moment in one of the Colour in Heaven books on a picture. But, uh, so much to do really. It's unreal. And it's hard to do anything colouring related with Jennifer's around because she does try and grab the pens, all the pencils, and that's fair enough. I'm going to actually make that in the middle red. I might change that and go over it with a blue glitter pen. I have not destroyed it yet, what I'm going to do. Completely. Let me just fold this over so under so it can sit better, that's better. But the thing is, as, as Jennifer gets older, she will understand more and I'll be saying, right, um, Mummy's doing this, do you want to come and colour with Mummy? And, or do you want to do this? And, you know. At the moment, she wants to sit on my lap all the time and watch TV, which means I can't actually do anything at all. I think she feels safe there and she likes it and makes her feel secure. Yeah. Not that there's any reason why she shouldn't feel secure normally. I, I don't know why, but, you know, maybe it's because there's so much going on and, I don't know. She's amazing, though. I know I'm her safe. 
I'm her safe space, so it's understandable that she wants to uh, be close to me. And I don't mind that, it's lovely. This afternoon, we had today off, which is Monday. I had a doze because Paul had a, a sleep while I was out with her. And uh, she was yelling for me at one point because she wanted me to go back down. She's quite happy with him for most of the afternoon though, so she's a good girl. She is a good girl. Yeah, I like this one. It's such a cute picture. Yeah, the saddest thing for me about Christmas this year is my brother Chris he isn't coming home. And his name is Chris because he was due on Christmas Day and he arrived Boxing Day. So that's why his name's Christopher. And yeah, it's sad he can't get home, but hopefully if things improve in the summer, he might be able to get home then. You never know. New Zealand's doing okay again, I believe. Chris is back in the office, or he's been working in the office anyway. But then as, uh, they're very strict. As soon as they get one case, they shut it down again. They shut down the country again. Oh. I don't think Claire's complaining. She likes having Richard home. That's my other brother. He works out in Africa a lot of the time. So what have I been watching on YouTube? I've been watching Geographics, I've been watching a channel called Lost Vocals, which is about dubbing in the film interesting, most, mostly, about how a lot of the stars in, today and then were, were dubbed by other people. Not always, but, you know, like some of them, I, and I don't understand it, like, so for instance, Singing in the Rain, Debbie Reynolds was dubbed, and there was nothing wrong with her voice. And Ava Gardner in Showboat, her voice was dubbed. Yet yeah, there's nothing wrong with her voice. She had a beautiful voice. So I, I don't understand why I missed a bit of her arm. Why she was they were those people were dubbed. But now Natalie Wood was dubbed in um West Side Story, which is dubbed throughout her career. Her voice was okay, but it it wasn't uh, quality enough, I don't I personally don't think, for a production such as West Side Story. Um, so to me that's understandable, but like Ava Gardner and, and Debbie Reynolds, I, I really don't get it. I really, really don't get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How blue is this blue? Ooh, I actually like that. I'm going to use that on the icicles. I think this is arctic blue. So I'm going to use these on the little snowflakes. It's very nice. couldn't find this book to start with tonight. I didn't think I'd be able to do the current chat from it and the flip through which went up before. Um, but luckily I found it so I was able to. Which is good. Yeah. So yeah, I don't really have a lot to say because of course I'm not really doing anything. I'm not going anywhere or stuff like that. My 
like you know that's 30 minutes it stopped i don't know how long ago it stopped it wouldn't have been long um but yeah i'm thinking should i do the top blue as well it's a, it's a very light blue and then i can put some uh, oh i gotta move um glitter over the top and i'll do the pearls that color as well i think it's just a nice blue this is arctic blue it just looks really nice A nice colour. So yeah, I'm looking forward to my Sunday uh, Christmas lunch up at the Prince. They are fully booked, so as long as they're allowed to open, it'll be fine. If they should be, it shouldn't be a problem at all. And now I need to change my battery, so I'll just do that, and then I'll be back. Okay, that's the battery changed. Let's carry on. I'll do a bit more and put that battery over there to be charged up later. Got two to charge up now. Got four batteries in total for my camera. So I was just looking at my at the time, see what the time was. So I'll put some uh, Winker Stella over this one. Over the stars and the, the snow, the snowflakes, the pearls. And the white so it looks like it's got some glitter on it and we'll do the ribbon probably red I don't know yet yeah probably and uh, see what happens so I'm not going to do too much longer we've done 30 minutes just over another 10 15 maybe it's quite chilly in here I've got the window open and uh, I've still got a few things to do as well as edit these together I want to put some items live on eBay. What's really annoying is I had an order and it was going GSP to, to France. So of course they they made me an offer, I accepted, they paid. I dispatched it today and then I go to my mum's. I haven't marked it dispatch yet because I've just literally just been to the post office to drop it off. Um, I get a message from them saying they, they bought this in Eric and they can I cancel it. Well, no, I've just dispatched it. And how do you make an offer on an item, have it accepted and pay for the item, and then it's an error? I don't understand that. So they'll have to send it back when it comes if they want to. And they'll have to pay the postage because I'm not paying it. And I will take it up with eBay saying, look, I'm not being funny. I dispatched this. They, they made an offer. I accepted it. They then paid... I dispatched it and then they asked to cancel it after I dispatched it and I had I hadn't marked it as dispatch because I hadn't got back home from I'd had to, I had to go out somewhere and how is it fair for me to have to pay for that when they bought it they made an offer on it they knew what it was at least I hope they knew what it was <laughs> if not they're a bit strange just uh, strange people there are. Very strange people. Now, I am going to do her sweater a bluish, greeny, bluey colour, I think. I think we'll do it sort of like this uh, Aegean blue. Let's be honest, nobody colour coordinates their outfit with their... Christmas stocking, do they? Let's be honest. We'll do this and a bit more and... Oh, that's a nice blue. But I had two other sales and they all went off today as well. One of them only came in today and I thought, right, well, I'm home. I might as well go up and get it and post it off. So it went straight off, which is nice. I still got to do all the item specifics. Still a hundred of them to go. It's so boring doing it and a lot of the time it's already in the category of that so why can't it just populate it itself? It's just really frustrating to have to go in and do all this when you've done it all once already. At least it tells you which ones they are. 
recommended it doesn't tell you which one it is because they're not essential when they're mandatory it does tell you so that's at least something eBay can be so frustrating sometimes. Well, the problem is once you sent something off to the GSP centre, you've got no way of getting it back. By the time I picked up the message, it would have been processed and I couldn't have even gone to the post office and got it back. It's just so annoying. If, you know, how can you make that mistake? Fortunately, I understand a bit of French, so I could understand what they'd written. So... frustrating though because you know you do your best and then to get things out in a timely manner for customers as well and then they, they screw you over I think that's why I've not been bothering to do too much as long as I'm making a bit of profit and I'm happy to just keep it ticking over at the moment Because last this tax year, last tax year, I've paid my tax bill to pay tax. If I can keep it under a certain amount, I don't have to. At the moment, I'm under that. I've made a profit, but I'm under the tax threshold. Because I don't pay tax on my normal job, because I'm under the tax threshold for that. So, yeah, this is a nice blue. I'm going to do a rolled up sleeve, the turn back part, a slightly different colour, along with the collar and trim. But yeah, I am looking forward to Christmas, it'll be nice, me, Jennifer and Paul, his, his mum will come out because she's on her own, so she can come over. She won't stay for long because she's got to get back for her little dog. So... And we'll pop over New Year's Eve, not to stay to see the New Year in, just to, to see her, make sure she's all right. But yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be strange this year because Chris isn't home. He's normally home because obviously it's birthday boxing day, it'll be his first birthday, he's never spent it at home. But we'll be going up to my mum and dad's for that day to have our Christmas day with them. Not Christmas dinner, we'll have turkey and chips. Yum! And then, um, for tea, and then we'll, uh, we'll have our presents and that then, from them. And, and that's fine. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's just going to be, it's just be different without him. But he wanted to go work in his and that's fine. He did what was right for him, so. I mean, I spent a long time away from home. Never went as far as New Zealand to live, but uh, I had a good, you know, few years away, college and living away. is what it is and it's time we 
we dealt with it and that we all deal with it because it's, it's just hard. But I hope everybody out there watching is, is good and I hope that you're enjoying this picture. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for, for joining me and I really appreciate you being here. And if you've been with me before and you've just come back to because you wanted to join in and see what was going on, thank you. Thank you for coming back. It's very much appreciated that you're here. And uh, she's supposed to be lighter, it looks exactly the same to me. Perhaps when it dries, it'll be a bit lighter. No, it is a bit lighter. So we're going to stop soon because um, we've been going nearly 45 minutes. I think that's long enough. I know you guys don't mind the long ones, but I do have other things getting on with. Like I said, I've got to do eBay. I've got to do my daily um, colouring thing for the Colouring Heaven daily advent picture. I haven't done that yet, so I want to do that. It doesn't take long because it's only a small set. It's only a small square. But I've done that, and I've got to upload the picture as well. So. Of course, I've got to get to bed because I've got work in the morning. Sadly, I prefer it when I'm not working because I can be colouring for you guys with you guys or watching films, listening to music. Me and Paul listened to some music this evening. We had on um, an oldie station on our inter we internet radio, which we love, and um, we were listening to an oldies channel, fifties and sixties stuff. It was great. Now this has stopped working. I've hardly used this colour. I think this is the first time I've used it since I swatched it. And I do keep them flat like that. I, li I lie them flat. So you should never stand double-ended markers up because the ink all runs to one end and then it stops working on the other. So that's okay. I might try and do a bit in one of my other books after I've done that. I might try and finish the um, base for Serene. I do have to test the background. What I'm going to do for the background, so but uh, it's okay, it's cool. I think I'll just finish this bit and her eyes, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That's that bit. We'll just do her eyes. Greeny colour eye. It's a bit dark actually, never mind. Yeah, that's not too bad. mouth we get the watermelon pink out for her tongue and, and that we'll call it a day after that because that'll be pretty much 45 minutes ish there we go all right let me just uh turn it around and we'll zoom it out as your eyes don't look too bad now so so far we've done um most of her not all of her, uh, apart from her slides. And we've done her stocking. So in our next video, we'll do the background and um, put some glitter on it. So I hope you've enjoyed this a little colouring chat from Chibi Christmas Grayscale by Jade Summer. If you have, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to um, 
share this video with any of your colouring friends and if you're not a subscriber tick the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you're notified every time I put up a new video and I will see you very very soon with some more colouring stuff. Bye!